Hi again, this is Lisa Perez Carrillo with Carrillo Cigars, and I'm here with my dad, Ernesto Perez Carrillo, one of the great master blenders. Thank you all for joining our contest on Instagram and sending us your top three questions. We went through them and we thought that three of them really stood out. All of them were great, but we figured three of them were ones that possibly he hasn't really answered too many times. So um, here he is, and I will ask you the first of these questions. Um, okay. What tobacco is your favorite one to work with? My favorite tobacco, you know, hands down, is the uh, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. I mean, I've been working for that, with that tobacco uh, probably, you know, since the beginning, over 40 years. And I always find that, you know, that particular tobacco intrigues me. It's always challenging to come up with blends with that tobacco. But, uh, you know, the taste and the, uh, uh, you know, just the complexity that that tobacco has is, you know, beyond anything that I've really uh, have had the pleasure to work with. I think I remember growing up when I was really young that my grandfather would bring up the Ecuador Sumatra. Is that something he actually liked working with also? He started, yeah, he started the, the thing, you know, when, it, when he first started, the tobacco that uh, was at that time available here in Miami was a Cameroon from uh, African Cameroon. And then, you know, later on, um, the Oliva started uh, harvesting the uh, Sumatra wrapper in Ecuador. And then, you know, he started using some of that. And that's basically what, you know, we use for the longest times for the Gloria Cubana Rico Habano that we used to make in those days. Now, I'm kind of going to add to some of these questions because as he speaks, I come up with my own questions and you probably think, gee, you're around him all the time. Why didn't you ask before? <laughs> but I have to ask. When I remember when I was a kid, the whole Cameroon wrapper that I was fascinated that it was from Africa. Mm -hmm. Is that one that had like a greenish kind of color to it? It had, it, it's a, it's, it, there's some that has a greenish you know, uh, tone to it. And that's because, you know, that particular um, wrapper, the seed comes from uh, Sumatra. Oh, okay. And the, uh, and those that are familiar with the Sumatra wrapper from the original Sumatra, it has a, you know, kind of a, a, a greenish uh, tone. So that's why in some of the Sumatra wrappers, you'll find that, you know, undertone that's a little bit green. Oh, okay. And especially in the Cameroon. Interesting. So I remember having a lot of fun with, you know, the greenish hue on that uh, wrapper. So the other question that I kind of liked was um, if you had to choose one cigar to smoke for the rest of your life and only one, mm -hmm. and I know you're probably going to throw in a second, but if it were one, which one would it be? Right now, I would have to say that, um, you know, that one I'm smoking now, and I'm not saying this because I'm smoking it now because we just came out with it. But it's, I think it's a, uh, you know, the, um, a cigar that, um, you know, I've worked really hard on this. And, and uh, it's, it's a cigar that, you know, let's say impresses me. Uh, I, I, I feel very proud of it. And it's a cigar that I enjoy. And then another cigar I, I well, would have- Well, wait, I'm sorry, that's the Encore, right? The Encore Majestic. Okay, so that's yeah. the Encore mm -hmm, Majestic. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. And then uh, another one, you know, if I had a second choice, it'd probably be the uh, La Historia Regalia de Celia's. You know, I love that shape, and I love the way that, that cigar uh, smokes. And, and that's the, the torpedo? The torpedo mm -hmm. shape, yeah. And then, you know, there are other cigars, you know, that, you know, other people make that I also enjoy, but I have to say, you know, for my taste, uh, you know, I, I like what I'm smoking right now. And I've actually heard people say that this, for being a Nicaraguan, an all Nicaraguan puro, mm -hmm that it is very elegant. Do you find a certain elegance to it? Because I've actually had some people tell me that only somebody who really knows how to blend, only a master blender can make those tobaccos taste so elegant. And I really like the word elegant used to describe something so beautiful. And obviously the packaging and the color, everything about it is, is just beautiful. Well, it, it's, uh, you know, it's something that you don't plan. You know, you don't, uh, for me, you know, I didn't plan to make this blend and have it come out the way that it did. I think that it was something that, uh, you know, as it evolved, it became what it is. You know, it became a, a uh, and I agree, it's a very elegant smoke. It's a, it's a type of uh, cigar that you can, you know, control, um, you know, what you want to get out of it. You know, whether it's the creaminess, the, uh, you know, the peppery, you know, some of the spices. But overall, and the palate's a very, you know, smooth, elegant uh, type of uh, cigar, which, you know, and the aroma, you know, I love. So I'm, I'm very proud of, you know, the way that this cigar came out. 
and I think you know for us it's uh, you know first it's a first it's an old Nicaraguan puro, and uh, you know secondly you know, it just came out the way that. Uh, only a master People, blender could make it. Well, I didn't want to say that, but... He's known to be one of the humblest uh, <laughs> blenders out there. So then the last question is, what is your favorite place to smoke? My favorite place, you know, is when I'm at home. I like to smoke out in my uh, my little terrace there, on my, uh, on my man cave, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. And that's really where I enjoy, you know, smoking my cigar. And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a moment where I'm by myself, you know, it could be 10, 11, 12 o'clock. And, uh, you know, going through the days, the weeks, the months, the years or whatever, and enjoying uh, a cigar. Well, that wraps it up for now. We'll keep uh, receiving all of your wonderful questions and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Thank you.